Hi, Steve Cooper, Rank Success, and just recently the uh, Fast Track uh, Police Promotion Scheme has kind of finished with the National Fast Track Assessment Centre, and I occasionally support candidates who are aspiring uh, senior leaders, and the Fast Track Scheme is there for that reason, to develop and to support people to get through from constable through to inspector in two years, and with the potential and the expectation that they have what it takes to get through to superintendent and beyond through the course of their career and they get the development through that. So uh, uh, for those that want to do that scheme, it's a pretty challenging and tough undertaking to do. Uh, but last October, I actually got contacted, uh, as I am in October from time to time, by one aspiring uh, a woman leader, uh, constable, who wanted some support, who had just come across Rank Success on YouTube, on, on these YouTube channels uh, and these um, videos. And I've also done blogs on various things. So I have a free uh, podcast. I have a so free leadership, police leadership podcast, uh, free YouTube videos like this, uh, and free blogs at policepromotion.blog to support aspiring officers, whether you're going for fast track or whether you're going through the more formal um, standardized route of promotion, whatever that looks like in your force. But this is about fast track promotion. And last October, I received a kind of expression of interest uh, from this uh, individual. And today, and that's how long it takes, uh, I've received uh, some feedback uh, of success. I'd actually had an early inkling a while back, but I wanted to just use this video to put across, and I'll probably do a podcast later on to share some more insights into this feedback uh, and into uh, my experience of supporting uh, fast track candidates successfully to get through the program because this is not the, the last one, this is one of many um, that have been successful. And uh, I just wanted to start off reading it. Uh, and to let you get an in inkling and insight into it because the rewards are there on this fast track selection process. When you're successful on this and each force does its own in-force selection in order to nominate you to go forward to the College of Policing's fast track assessment. So the process starts in October, um, in-force kind of processes and they then nominate individuals who go through an in-force selection process for fast track through to the national fast track assessment in the following March. So that's what's just happened uh, and I've received this feedback which I'll, I'll, uh, I'll start now. So in 2020 I rejoined the police with a new perspective, uh, energy and enthusiasm to do the best job possible. I could see that in just two years away from policing a lot had changed. We had lost a lot of experience. New entry pathways had been introduced and for the first time in 16 years, I could see that with my previous knowledge and experience, that promotion was uh, an option, maybe the right way for me to progress my career. I studied whilst in an acting up role and unfortunately I dipped the exam, leaving me completely disheartened and disillusioned by the process. After taking some time to switch off, I saw an email about the fast track process I had no idea what it entailed, but I truly believed I could be a good leader and with development and support, an inspector. My main concern was having been at constable for so long, constable level for so long, I wasn't corporate enough uh, and didn't know how to be strategic. I decided to go for it anyway. I then came across Rank Success on YouTube. I started to watch the free videos on the CVF competencies and it completely changed how I'd been looking at it, finally making sense. I purchased the inspector's digital toolkit in order to prepare for my internal force board. I utilised the tips and guidance in there on what to read and what to be thinking about. The different vocabulary and understanding how police officers like to be managed, the challenges facing uh, the challenges that policing faces and how we can overcome them was a huge help. I found the podcast talk uh, with Lee Freeman, the Chief Constable of Humberside, so useful. I then had a one-to-one -one session with Steve, uh, who explains everything so clearly, and this really helped me achieve a high score in the board. 
Next step was the assessment centre and I feel that by having spent so much time focusing on why it meant so much to me and what kind of leader I would be, that I was able to attend with confidence and perform as best possible. There are five assessments and they're all so tough in different ways. It's a very mentally tra draining two days with so much information being processed. I was successful at the National Assessment Centre and I've been accepted onto the Fast Track Scheme. Having passed such a rigorous assessment, I now have so much more confidence that I'm ready for this and I deserve it. I'm passionate about proving the police are here to help everyone, including those who work with, and I'm excited to help make positive changes. I would definitely recommend the Digital Toolkit for anyone studying for a board, and if you do the work, it will pay off. Thanks again for your help. So that's the kind of stuff that keeps me going. I'm really inspired by that, and that particular individual is really inspiring. Uh, once she decided to go for it, uh, there's no stopping, uh, and uh, obviously success is, uh, to this stage, it's just the start of the journey, really, in terms of over the next couple of years, uh, going through that program, it's fast track promotion through the sergeant, through to inspector, and then the development that goes on beyond that, potentially to reach superintendent in six years and beyond, who knows, but that's the uh, rewards, so the, there's the pay rewards, there's the different perspectives that you go through at those ranks, the support that you get on that program, lots of different rewards uh, in terms of being developed and in terms of perspectives in the organisation and developing and learning and growing as a leader. As I say, it's not for everybody. It's a really, really tough undertaking. But I've not had anybody not be successful yet that I've supported going through this programme. Uh, and it's, you know, I never know these are coming, but it's lovely when I receive them. And the toolkit that she alludes to is the uh, Digital uh, Inspector and Chief Inspector Toolkit which covers so much for fast track candidates and any other candidates as well. But clearly if you're going for Sergeant, you would download the Sergeant's Digital Toolkit because these digital promotion toolkits are bespoke for the rank you're going for. And because you're going for fast track, if you're a fast track candidate listening to this, the Inspector and, digital, uh, the Inspector and um, Chief Inspector Toolkit uh, covers lots of information that you will need to uh, be considering and to be reading. So. Um, this individual alludes to you know what to read and what to be thinking about. Well, I don't tell you what to think about, but I do signpost and direct and guide you to some resources that I think you, you, you will find very helpful as part of your development for this process and preparation for this process. Um, and a lot of that is covered in the digital toolkits. Uh, so effective delegation, leadership styles, the roles that you will be um, uh, occupying. So. Uh, you're constable at the moment, so you're a competent constable going for fast track. And you will be uh, going through sergeant. So what does that mean? What is that role? What does inspector mean? Uh, and what is that role about? What are the functions and dimensions of that? How do the two roles differ? How are they the same? And then when you move on beyond that, because these uh, roles, this toolkit focuses you at level two of the CVF, fantastic preparation because in the program for the application you actually get assessed on your potential at level three so having a great understanding of what good detailed examples look like at sergeant and at inspector and at chief inspector level really just helps you understand the cvf there's lots of free blogs and free information to help you do that as well and so you basically go into the process in an internal force process really well prepared uh, a good foundation and depth and breadth of preparation for this uh, a tough undertaking uh, and to give it your best so if your confidence is not where it is it will be by the time you get there uh, with some signposting direction and guidance and clearly it works um, if you want to have a look at my site um, ranksuccess.co.uk and look at some of the other testimonials you'll see hundreds and hundreds of testimonials uh, that talk about the value of these digital toolkits in which you can download them right now and just crack on hit the ground running with effective promotion preparation that's tried and tested and uh, uh, is uh, voiced by the officers themselves who have been successful on the process. So if you're someone who's going for fast track, look at the inspector and chief inspector uh, toolkit as a starter for 10. Um, if you are someone who is thinking about going for fast track, don't worry about the time scales. You can go to the College of Policing and have a look at the fast track program anytime you like, but the time scales, if you're thinking about it, 
are now starting today right now because you've got to give yourself as much of a run up at something like that at fast track as possible and as i say i've written some other blogs so you can look at the experiences of other successful officers on the fast track program and what they say helped them but i would just encourage you to if you're thinking about going for it and what have you got to lose you know if you're someone who aspires to senior leadership positions then use the scheme it's there for you to avail yourself of and give it the best shot you can um, but start now don't worry about the process starting in october uh, for the following march so what is it now it's may now just the beginning of may now 2023 uh, and the process next year opens for 2024 so it'll probably start this year around october internally in force give yourself an extra six months run up get yourself really grounded and orientated and you'll do even better and you'll have far more um, confidence in your approach okay so that was it i just wanted to share so i will do a podcast more about sharing some of the insights in this because as that individual is you know uh, really proud, chuffed, made up, over the moon. Um, I'm really pleased to get these um, reports back, these intelligence reports as to how uh, you know my support, the support of Rank Success uh, has helped. I'm always interested in the perspectives around that and looking at what works. And clearly when these kind of things arrive, it's evidence, it's proof of the pudding of what works. Okay, thank you for listening to me. Uh, as I say, you can go to ranksuccess.co.uk and download uh, free resources, access free resources there. But I'll be back with another video in due course. And until then, take care and stay safe.